Hi, Dr. Angela here with Garden Talks for Equal Ground Community Gardens in Brantford. We're tackling oregano. Uh, everybody knows about oregano. Everybody uses oregano. We love it because we love pizza. I've never met anybody that doesn't like pizza. Uh, oregano is really interesting in that it has 42 times the antioxidant capacity of an apple. Um, just to put that in perspective, apples are one of my personal favorite superfoods. Um, apples are pretty neat. They don't have, you know, the most, uh, the highest vitamin and mineral profile of all the fruits, but they are most certainly a superfood in the other properties that they have. Uh, but oregano, which, um, which is a nice little green herb, it's got cute, adorable little leaves, it almost looks like a mint type of, uh, of leaf arrangement. Um, it's a little bit of sort of a mild green, uh, it's not the brightest green that you're going to see in your box, but uh, your garden box, but it, it's, pretty, it's pretty nice. It's, it gets very green, it gets very plentiful, and it grows quite easily and well. Um, very proliferative little plant this is. Um, oregano um, is a symbol of happiness of the ancient Greeks, and they used to call it mountain joy, apparently, according to what I've read. I wasn't there. Uh, but apparently brides and grooms would be crowned with a laurel of oregano. Uh, because of this, uh, of how well it was revered. It would grow quite plentifully along the hillsides in ancient Greece, and it was very, very well appreciated. Oregano um, can be put into a tea. It doesn't taste very good, but it certainly has a lot of antioxidant properties. Uh, most people choose to put it in foods, and oregano is a strong one. So if you've got a sensitive stomach, then it might sort of come back up on you. Um, that just means that you maybe need a little bit less, or maybe you want something a little bit milder, such as basil instead. But oregano does pair well with basil. It pairs well with rosemary. Um, pairs very well with uh, things like uh, maybe sage, uh, but most definitely pairs well with olive oil and salt. Enjoy.